A year later, West Humble Park resident John Carr recalls his basement had waist deep water. The water receded, leaving damage and mold growing still. You know, I just don't have the money. I just do a little stuff at a time. When you don't have the money, you do this. His story is not unusual. Volunteers with the West Side Long Term Recovery Group tell us they respond to a resident needing help and they find others on the block with mold and damage that exist from flooding last June and July. In some areas, it's literally chest high. It is not healthy for him, his kids, or anyone in this building because the air goes up through his ventilation system and everyone here is breathing it. Today, community organizers and residents report the group has helped 85 homeowners get mold out of their basements and they have over 200 on their wait list. People are inhaling mold. There are some people that haven't got checked out with the mold. People are traumatized. They have mental health problems with the flood. They have physical health problems. Despite over $300 million approved by FEMA for Cook County residents, residents here and elsewhere tell us the money was not enough and the appeals process is slow and complicated. Volunteers say most of their residents still waiting for help are seniors on fixed incomes. You know, you can only do so much free work. Yeah. Especially when it's haphazard, especially when the chemicals cost $200 a bottle. Yeah. So this is the time to struggle. We in this community. For some of the flood victims, their basement units were rentals. But now with mold remediation or repairs needed, that's lost income, making their budgets even tighter. Mr. Carr tells us he's out rental income and is appealing for FEMA money. In the meantime, the volunteers of the West Side Long Term Recovery Group tell us some grants have allowed their work to continue, but they welcome more as their wait list grows. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.